Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. Today, um, I just finished up NABJ's meeting. I am with Chantrell Lowe. And uh, who are you with? I'm with Nashville MTA. She's with Nashville MTA, and she just spoke to a group of journalists about all these exciting things with Motion 2015. Now, um, I know our audience is very interested in what your department is working on. Public transportation was a big discussion in our recent mayor elections, and um, you came here today to tell us about some really exciting things that are happening. Yes, the strategic plan is basically a transportation plan every four years. This time around, we're basically going through the process, getting more interaction. Uh, 10,000 interactions is what we're focused on. Okay. We're also focused on the bigger picture of transportation. The community has uh, voted it the second highest priority. Wow. And we really need transportation here in Nashville. So, so public transportation, um, so that entails buses, rail? Buses, light rail, commuter rail, um, BRT, downtown transit services. Now, as we stand right now, where is our public transportation as, as compared to other mid-sized cities? Um, our peer cities are of uh, Denver, Austin. Uh, those cities have evolved a lot better than we are right now. Our population is growing and we need to pick up the pace as far as transportation. More people are walking, more people are driving, more people are taking the train. And our services right now, our infrastructure is just not compared to the other cities. Now, who is affected more by this lack of public transportation? People within the city or, or outer areas like your Antioch and your Madison, your Hermitage? Are there, you seen a lot of complaints from those members of the community? I think it's equally distributed because we have a lot of people that saying we're needing a downtown, uh, cross town service, but um, we also needing more regions where it hits Murfreesboro and Franklin and yeah. those areas, um, as well as the northern areas such as Parksville. Yeah. Nashville is growing in each direction. Yeah, and, and it's very important to realize. Uh, Cause I'm a transplant myself from New Jersey, and when I think Nashville, I think all those communities, Clarksville, Murfreesboro, and the actual city. And uh, I know some people that are from here, they don't really grasp that the same way. How do we um, educate people that understand that it's a regional as well as a city thing? Well, as I said earlier, we're trying to do a lot of interactions with everyone. Um, we're at the grassroots level, going to different churches, going to different organizations, such as the National Association of Black Journalists. And we're also going to the, our mayors. We're talking with our state legislators and federal government because we want to really get the word out that transportation is really needed here in Nashville. And it's needed more so because we have a lot of residents that are coming in from different parts of the country that have a robust transit system. Yeah, that is one thing. The area I'm from the country, trains, buses, light rail, all that stuff was, was very accessible. Um, now. How are we finding out this information from our, our citizens? What are you doing? Surveys? Are you the We're website? doing lots of surveys. <laughs> lots We're, of surveys. Yes. Um, our first survey was on uh, values, how will people value the existing transit service. Um, our next um, survey is on trade-offs. We want to know if you had $10 and you were the CEO of MTA RTA, would you use that to have a premium service or expand the hours? So a lot of um, people, about 1,400 people have uh, replied to our surveys so far. We're trying to get more than that to kind of yes. come in to the conversation. So please use social media on um, hashtag InMotion2015. Go okay. to InMotion2015.org um, and, and talk with us about transportation in your experience. And uh, fine, before I let you go, I always like to ask my guests um, about Nashville. I'm a big proponent of the city. What do you think are some of the reasons the city is growing so quickly? Um, it has everything that a young millennial would want. Wow. Um, you have the jobs, you have the restaurants, you have the parks, um, the transit system. It's lagging behind, and if we bring that up, we'll have more residents, even more than the three million that are intended to come here. Wow, well, that's great. Um, I'm really glad you took the time to speak to 
the uh, National Association of Black Journalists, and you were able to speak to our viewers out here um, at the Tennessee Tribune. And we really appreciate your time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks, and uh, once again, you've been tuning into Take Ten on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.